Michael, we should draw a distinction between Ray Dalio and Bridgewater. I think over the last couple of days, a lot of people go into some of his comments in Davos, Switzerland about what he thinks about the market, etc. But this is Bridgewater as a fund right. and their position. And then there's Ray Dalio, the individual, the founder, the chief of the fund, who's going around talking about markets full stop. Well, absolutely. And I think when you talk about a big fund's positions and coming up with Okay, that's information that I didn't have yesterday, but what do I do with that information? It's a very dangerous path yeah. to go down, right? Because uh, I don't know what else is in their book. I don't know how these, uh, th these shorts are being used, what's against them, and so forth. And I doubt most other people do, too. So, so you know, sure, on, on the face of it, it looks like, okay, wow, is he bearish Europe? Is this a, is this a political risk play? Is this a, uh, because he thinks the euro is going to 135 play? Is this because uh, um, the fundamentals in these companies are just rotten? Or is he just bearish the it, European recovery It leads recovery you down story? that road, Peter. We, we it it leads know. you down that road, but the other big question is the size of the shorts amount to about 14 billion. The AUM is 160. But as I had with a conversation with someone yesterday, this is a fund that could well be using a lot of leverage, and therefore 14 is what a slice of what overall. We just don't know, do you? Right. We don't really know anything. Probably the only thing we know is they are very good at misdirection. So by the time we're finding something <laughs> out, there's probably a reason we're finding it out. <laughs> so I, I would always take anything out of that fund in particular with a grain of salt. So a lot of people have had a lot of things to say, including Alan Higgins of uh, CIO. He tweeted the following response to me yesterday on Twitter. His take is that it's a large pair trade, most likely versus U.S. equities focusing on earnings momentum, which favors the U.S., mainly reflecting U.S. tax cuts versus euro strength headwinds for many of these names. In fact, a lot of people have concluded that it is a bit of a pair trade. Michael, would that make sense as a pair trade, to have this short on against Europe at a big long it, on U.S. equities? If, if you're of the view that, um, you know, the, 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 on the, you know, if you look at the SX, uh, 5e over SPX, uh, pair trade overlaid with euro dollar, that correlation ebbs and flows, but it, it can be very, very strong, particularly as you get into strong currency. So if, if, if Bridgewater thinks that the euro is, uh, you know, going to 135 and they're full on the weak dollar story, I, I think there's there's some sense there, but I think you know even still that's a difficult tr that, that trade is still difficult because you know you're coming into a sort of a mid cycle recovery in Europe versus a late presumably late cycle recovery in in the United States and uh, and and just because we're going to get a a, yeah. a weaker dollar doesn't necessarily mean that's always great.